Hello everyone. I'm gonna assume that if you're watching this, you probably play Origin Realms. Now here is a question for you. Would you not say that, as a member of Origin Realms community, a well-known visitor of Origin Isles, do you not consider each and every one of the NPCs in town your friend? Do I say your family? And what do we do for family? We help. We support. We find Zane a job. So who is Zane? Honestly, I don't really know. I accidentally stumbled upon him when I was going through my investigation in my last video. Check it out, it's pretty good. So this guy over here, this is Zane. And he has recently been assigned by the mayor to do, well, genital stuff? In this new area that construction work has begun. Although, when I talked to him, he seemed a bit sad, unhappy with his current job. Not full of life like he once was. And he told me that he is looking for a job. Can I actually make a difference? Probably not, but I'd like to think that I can. So yeah, sure, why not? Let's help Zane out. We can infer that Zane isn't an ordinary janitor because the mayor picked him for the area. We can definitely conclude that Zane has most, if not all, of these skills I found on Google. <laughs> so, to my side, you can actually see all of the skills that I found on Google and Genital Zane must have all of this, right? So Zane and the viewers, sit back, relax, and I am going to find Zane a job. So I'm here at Fabric Furniture. This is a lovely little shop owned by a married couple, Rick and Fabia. As the name suggests, this is the place to buy any furniture for your realm. Chairs, desks, chairs, it's great really. And it appears that every day around 7 to 8 a.m. the shop closes and reopens. Each day the furniture in the shop changes accordingly. The reason Zane will shine here is because he is capable of managing his time efficiently, can handle basic maintenance and clean. These skills will help with the whole process of changing the shop's interior every day without much struggle. The only issue I have is that neither Fabia or Rick are the ones to change the shop's insides every day. Rick is always outside and Fabia closes the shop from outside as well. There are two takeaways from this and I will let you decide which one is more likely. Number one, the shop uses some sort of magical property to change by itself. Or what I think is more likely, they already have a janitor held hostage in the shop. So Zane can't apply for a job here, it's already taken. Next up is Fracture Forge. This is another lovely little shop owned by Pebbles and Boulder. This is the place to be if you goofed up and broke a tool, or if you're a Sigma male and you want to forge a relic onto your tool. There probably isn't much cleaning to be needed for this shop, for a janitor position. But let's have a look at a different skill Zane has. Zane must be able to lift at least 25 pounds. Impressive. My point is that Zane could potentially assist or even replace Boulder. If you put the two side by side, it's clear that Zane is much more powerful than Boulder could ever be. And after all, don't we want the highest efficiency when it comes to our precious, precious tools? The only tiny bit of an issue that I have with this job is that Zane must also have at least a basic understanding of math. This is horrible for us, because it means that Zane will likely explain to Boulder and Pebbles how important their job really is, and how they are being ripped off. This will cause an immediate spike in the prices, and I don't think it's worth sacrificing that just so my boy Zane have a job. Pass. But you know what? Maybe we can put his math skills to good use. This is the Ruby Exchange Bank. This is a lovely little shop. Okay, 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 I'll stop. I'm sorry. But it is a lovely little shop which is owned by Robin Banks. 
Robin Banks is the banker of Robin's Banks, not to be confused with his brother, Banks Robin, who I just made up. This bank is perfect for Zane to work as an alternative banker. As I said, Zane must have incredible math skills, so this should all be great for him, really. But there is just one small problem. Really, it's it's an inconvenience, okay? It's just that, well, um... I think that this bank might be... a scam? Here is the evidence. First of all, we have Robin Banks. There is something oddly suspicious about this guy. It might be the fact that he probably lives in this cave. How do I know that? I just made up. But the point is that if you live in a cave, you suck. Sorry not sorry! My next evidence towards why Robin Banks is kinda suspicious is that he is completely delusional. According to him, the market has been on a rise lately. The market in Origin Realms is in absolute shambles. What is he talking about? My last evidence towards why he is totally crazy is that he wants to buy a boat. Oh, oh that's it. He, he wants to buy a boat. This area needs no introduction. This is Jacko's farm. And it's likely the most popular area in all of Origin Isles. It's a farm, okay? There's surely something for Zane to do here. Six and a half hours later. Uh, what? D oh, don't look at me, please. Don't look at me. Not because of my dancing, but because I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm already giving up. There's just so many scarecrows in this area. And, well, you know that Zane has simple math skills. So according to that... You know, we know that one of his skills means that he has to work well when there are no supervisors. Therefore, it means that if there are supervisors, he doesn't work well. Oh man, he's gonna be so garbage at this job as well. He will probably mess up so bad that the next time I'll make a video about him, it will be investigating how he accidentally ruined the economy by watering the plants with bleach. But come on, you know me. You know that I don't give up that easily. I would not have uploaded this video if I didn't actually have a job for Zane. And trust me, I saved the absolute best for last. Zane, honey, do you want to share with the class what you just told me? That's right. Zane actually has a secret passion to acting. He actually kind of envies his brother for pursuing that career instead of him. But don't worry Zane, I have the perfect man for you. Introducing an NPC you probably never heard of. The man to the left is Lupus, and the girl to the right is Irrelevant. And you know what? Lupus wants to become a movie producer one day. Now isn't this a nice coincidence, huh? Origin Realms admins. I know what I said about you in the last video, but that's all waters under the bridge, right? Hear me out. Take these two and make a proper film. They have dreams. And as a community, it is our responsibility to make them true. On this high note, I was born muddy and I'm out. And he told me that he is looking for a job. Oh my god! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, it's getting dark, I should probably get a torch. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> loser. Look at this dude. <laughs> Look at this dude! And how they are being ripped off. This is what we call inflation. <laughs> hey, put the bear. Oh, I thought you were someone cool. The man to the left. Bruh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at those moves. Look at those moves. Am I just gonna end every video with dancing? <laughs>